welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you guys what I've been going through because I just told you guys, I just mentioned to you guys what was going on with me in my life, but I didn't really explain. So today I'm going to explain to you guys what I've been going through, how it feels, how to, how I've been dealing with it, and um, how long this is going to last, basically. And yes, I'm wearing this stupid beanie. It's hot out here, but my hair is super long and ugly. So yeah. Anyways, so I'm gonna go back in time to March 12th or 11th. That was um, the first day that I figured that I think that I, that we had our first case of this virus in Bowling Green or Warren County, whatever, or in Kentucky. I can't remember, but I was just very uh, nervous that day for some reason. As soon as I saw the news on Facebook, I was really I don't know, I just couldn't, I can't explain that feeling, but anyways, I was feeling very scared, nervous, and uh, and that day, we were supposed to have like a bad storm, and I just kept on thinking the whole day at work, I'm like, man, you know, this virus is going to get here, ah, I just kept on thinking the worst of the worst, thinking about my daughter and my family and everybody in my house, and I couldn't stop thinking, and normally I can control myself when it comes to storms and stuff like that, because uh, if you guys don't know, I have like this, it's called uh I forgot what it's called, Pulsed. They told me this at Fairview Clinic. It's like a, basically you're traumatized from when you're young, either from, from something that you've lived through when you were young. So basically that's what I have also. So that day at work, I just couldn't control myself. I just kept on thinking the worst of the worst. And I kept on going to the bathroom more than often. Scared and I was nauseous and I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, Felt like I couldn't breathe really good. Um, started shaking, I felt nauseous. Anyways, I went up to my brother, I told him I felt really bad. He was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I don't know. Maybe my high, my blood pressure, I don't know. I, I really didn't know, I've never experienced this before. So, sat down, my blood pressure was high, that's what they told me. Um, I just felt like I was gonna pass out, but I didn't. But that wasn't the worst of the worst. I was able to control myself when the ambulance came and I told them I could make it home, I could drive home or whatever. My friend took me home, I went to the clinic, but I still was feeling those sim same symptoms. And I was thinking maybe I have the virus or maybe, I don't know, I just I, just, I was just confused at the time, right? Um, a week after, whatever, it was a Monday, a Sunday, I was, about, I was supposed to go back to work, but they shut work down because of the whole situation going on. Anyways, that day I had my first panic attack in the morning uh, because I, I woke up and the first thing I did was look at the news and I saw more cases of the virus, that's all. And to make it worse, one of my good friends from since I was kids, we went through school, we had our good street racing and drag racing with this friend of mine and I, I woke up to horrible news that he had passed away that made it 10 times worse so I just had like a panic attack that was just me and my daughter and I didn't know how to control it I didn't know what's going on it's like so I'm explaining to you guys what this feels like basically is well what I, what I experienced is heat like you're on fire from your head to your chest like I mean it's burning it's a burning sensation and then you can't breathe good if you have to like really gasp for air, and uh, you start shaking. Your whole body starts shaking, you can control yourself, and then you feel like you're gonna pass out. So the best thing you can do is sit down, try to breathe in and out, um, control yourself. <sighs> Deep breath, and just try to think positive. And I, I didn't know how to control this at first. And I had, after that Monday, I had about like, three or four more that next week and and it was because honestly I kept on thinking about situations that I shouldn't be thinking about. I was thinking about people dying, people thinking about getting sick, how am I going to recover, how am I going to go back to work, I'm going to lose my job, how am I going to keep my house, how am I going to support my family, how am I going to be continue to detail. I just felt like my life just went downhill completely because I didn't know how to control this. It was something that I've never experienced. So it was, it was bad. Those panic attacks, I, they're so scary. You feel like you're gonna have a heart attack. And that's what I thought I was having. And that's why I went to the clinic. I went to the ER after that. And um, 
they told me that no, nothing's wrong with my heart. They did EKGs, they did blood tests, nothing was absolutely wrong. It's just, I, then I went to, after that, I had a follow up with my doctor at Fairview and I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression, something that I never in a lifetime thought that I was gonna experience because to be honest with you guys, my girl, my wife has lived through depression and anxiety before and I used to make fun of her and other people I used to be like, how can you let something mental control you? Like that's mental, you can control it. You don't have, I don't understand how people I didn't even think it was possible to have that. I just thought that it was something people put in their head, but, and honestly, I never thought it would happen to me because as you guys know, I'm so energetic. I'm, I'm happy all the time. I'm never mad, but it just happened to, I mean, I just happened to be diagnosed with it and I was completely shocked to be honest because I was like, how is this really happening to me? I had no idea, but I'm glad I know that that's what I had. After I found out what I had, they gave me medicine, they gave me these, I forgot the name of these, uh, depression pills and anxiety, but I was taking them daily. One, uh, one was specifically was when I, when I had a panic attack to take it so I could go straight to bed, but I didn't. I only took one, one of those one, one time. It was nighttime, and I was. I just started getting a panic attack. So I took it, and it was the worst thing ever. Like my body just gave out. I was tired. I was weak. I couldn't even move out of the bed. So I was like, I'm never taking these again, no matter what. And the depression pills. Every time I, I mean the anxiety pills. Every time I took them, or depression, whatever. Every time. Anyways, the whole point is, every time I took any type of depression or anxiety pill, I. I I got the big old headache. I couldn't sleep. I, I, it wasn't helping me, put it that way. It was just not helping me. I don't know if it helps. If, if some of you guys watching this video, you guys, the pills actually helped you guys. But to me, I felt like it made me the situation worse. So I took them for two weeks just to give it the pills the benefit of the doubt. But I told myself that I was just going to focus more on myself, my family, and think positive and do positive things stop thinking negative and read the Bible more and uh, spend more time doing things that I like to distract myself. So that's what I did. I started detailing again, slowly, and I was actually very scared to do it because I was like, I don't know if I'm even capable of detailing again because my body just doesn't feel the same and I don't feel confident anymore to do anything like playing soccer, exercising, working out, detailing, everything was just so negative, but I was like, I gotta do it. So. I, I gave up on the medicines after two weeks and I, honestly I feel a lot better without taking medications. I haven't had a panic attack since I stopped taking the medications. I, I've, I've been close to it. I'm not going to lie, I've been close to getting one at times when I started thinking negative and start questioning what's going on in this world but then I, like I said, I find something to focus on and forget about the negative stuff and that's how I control, that's how I kind of cope with this depression and anxiety is by, I guess you could say, yeah, by thinking, doing things that keep me distracted from negative things. So that's one of the things that you guys, if you guys are experiencing anxiety or depression, you guys need to focus on something that makes you happy, um, something that uh, calms you down. For me, it was uh, coming to the garage and. Uh, working out with my wife, doing MMA whenever we had time, or going for walks with my daughter and my wife, or detailing. Detailing is a passion that I have found that I actually that I actually like doing. And um, people are a lot of actually a lot of the people checked on me. People that I detail their cars checked on me uh, to see how I was doing. And um, so that that was that was awesome, you know, to know that they're also there for you when when you need it, right? Not just for not just when they need you. Uh, it's been a tough, tough two months of my life, toughest two months of my life, honestly. And uh, yeah, and another topic I want to touch on is how long is this gonna last? That's a good question. I, I don't know how to answer that because I don't think there is. An answer to that, I think it's just 
this is something that I'm gonna be that I have to deal with for a long time. Uh, I think the best medicine for this, like I said, is staying focused on something that you enjoy doing. Think positive, eat healthy, um, and find something that you love doing, and get closer to God. The main thing: get closer to God. Read the Bible. Every question that you have is in there. Um, before all this was going on, I was I kind of got away from God and the Bible and all that stuff, and then I went back to it, and it helped me a lot. Honestly, it made me think twice about some poor decisions that I've made in my life before. Uh, that is too late to uh, fix. To you know, it's never too late to uh, reflect on bad decisions that you've made in life. So that's what I kind of did, and I focused on the things that really matter in my life, which is my family, my wife, my daughter, me trying to grow my business, and still thinking that I have a chance to make it to the UFC. Although I haven't been training, although I have all this stuff going on, I, I, that's still my dream, and it's always gonna be my dream. And hopefully, in the near future, I can purchase, look, I ain't even, like for me, honestly, I think what would make me really happy at this point is to have a 240SX, which is a car that, it's a cheap, cheap car, but I want, to, I want to build this car from the ground up. I want to make it my own drift car. I think that that's just something that I've always wanted to do, and I have the opportunity now to do it, but here comes the other side of this. Family comes first. I got to take care of them first before I make my dreams come true, I guess. So right now, this is a situation that you want to make sure you have the most money that you can possibly have. Stay healthy. Don't go out if you don't need to. Look, I haven't been out to a store in two months. I haven't been to Walmart. I haven't been absolutely nowhere. The only place I went was to my chiropractor appointment two days ago. And that was the first time that I've been out publicly in two months. And that's just because, you know, yes, for one, I'm scared. But, no, but the main thing is I want to keep myself safe so I can keep my daughter safe and my family, the people around me to live with me. I don't want nobody to uh, get this virus and you know I don't want to live with that so I try to stay as away from people as possible and stay healthy but you guys know what nothing lasts forever so this too shall pass this too will go away we will go back to normal I don't know how long it's gonna take but once this is over man uh, I think this has been a good time to make people reflect on the things that really matter in this world and uh, or you know some people are kind of like a lot of people are money hungry right but at the end of the day money isn't it's in everything in this world I mean if you ain't healthy all you can have all the money in the world and it ain't gonna save you stay safe wash your hands cover your face Put a mask on. Who cares if you can't breathe? I hate the mask. I absolutely hate it. You can't even breathe. And you can smell your own breath. It stinks. But that's not the point. We're just trying to, we're trying, we're trying to save lives here. So the more we help each other out, the quicker we're going to get away from all this mess. With that being said, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I don't know. Just stay positive, guys.